Hello friends, welcome back. In today's lecture, that is lecture number three, I am Dr. Milin Mesra, working as an assistant professor in the Department of Chemistry, KTHM College, Nashik. In the last lecture, in the last lecture, we have seen the structure of benzene. As I mentioned it before, in 1865, Kekul had reported the structure for the benzene. There are two resonating forms of the benzene. Later in 1899, Hilly has reported the hybrid structure for the two forms of Kekul structures. So, uh, in this lecture, I am going to talk about the stability of benzene. The benzene possesses the planar and hexagonal structure and in this benzene there are six carbon atoms each carbon has sp2 hybridized and has one unhybridized 2p atomic orbital which is this 2p atomic orbitals which is perpendicular to the plane of the six member ring that is six carbon atoms so let us consider this is the benzene this is the benzene which is having 6 2p atomic orbitals ok so there can be two ways of uh, overlapping so if you consider if you consider this carbon, then 2p atomic orbital can overlap with this p orbital. Then alternatively, this carbon, this carbon will overlap with this carbon and this carbon will overlap with this p orbital, which gives rise to this kind of system. On the other hand, once this carbon is overlap with uh, this p orbital overlap with this p orbital so in this case so this p orbital can overlap with this when this overlap with this p orbital it cannot overlap with this p orbital so in this way this uh, this p orbital will overlap with this and this p orbital will overlap with this so you we would get this kind of system these two systems are resonance resonating structures okay they are they are in equilibrium they cannot be separated so that means benzene is more stable than that of the expected 135 cyclohexadiene system that is the hypothetical structure the stability of benzene can be explained by using uh, by using the data that is the heat of hydrogenation and heat of combustion data so uh, benzene benzene is having the lower heat of hydrogenation and heat of combustion than that of the expected system that is 135 cyclohexatrine system so let us see the heat of hydrogenation so benzene is having the lower heat of hydrogenation than that of the expected critical 135 cyclohexatriene system so what do you mean by heat of hydrogenation the heat of hydrogenation is nothing but the the amount of heat evolved when one mole of unsaturated compound hydrogenated the heat of hydrogenation of cyclohexene cyclohexadiene and cyclohexatriene are shown uh, here so, uh, if you consider the cyclohexene, cyclohexene can be treated with S2 to give rise to cyclohexene. So, in all the cases, so cyclohexene is the common product. Okay. okay. So, when you consider cyclohexene, the heat of hydrogenation that is delta H is equal to minus 120 kilojoule that is minus 28.6 kilocal per mole when you consider cyclohexadiene 13 cyclohexadiene so you would get delta h is equal to minus 232 kilojoule that is minus 55.6 kilocal per mole 
here you can see the delta h is minus 55.6 kilocal per mole is the twice than that of the cyclohexene delta h okay that is minus 28.6 so this is the twice than that of the cyclohexene delta h so then if you consider benzene so here delta h is equal to minus 208 kilojoule that is minus 49.8 kilocal per mole this is the lesser than cyclohexadiene okay so uh, if we consider the hypothetical structure that is 135 cyclohexadiene so we can expect the heat of hydrogenation of cyclohexadiene it would be the three times of the cyclohexene that is minus 28.6 into 3 so it would be minus 85.8 kilocal per mole that means the uh, actual heat of hydrogenation for the benzene is only minus 49.8 kilocal per mole that means benzene is thermodynamically more stable than cyclohexadiene by 36 kilocal per mole so let us move to the heat of combustion so the heat of combustion is also lower than that of the expected hypothetical 135 cyclohexadiene so what do you mean by heat of combustion so uh, amount of heat evolved when one mole of hydrocarbon is burned which result in the formation of carbon dioxide and water okay so here is the general representation for the burning of hydrocarbon okay so burning of hydrocarbon in the presence of oxygen which result in the formation of water and carbon dioxide here hydrocarbon is uh, reacted uh, means uh, burned in the presence of oxygen this gives rise to carbon dioxide and water molecules it means the heat of combustion for the benzene is lower than that of the expected hypothetical structure now let us see the carbon carbon bonds in the benzene so all the carbon carbon bonds in the benzene is having the uh, uh, equal equal bond length okay the bond length in benzene is 1.39 angstrom okay which is in between carbon carbon single bond that is 1.54 angstrom and carbon carbon double bond that is 1.34 angstrom all the carbon bonds are equal which proves the presence of delocalization of pi electrons okay so if you would consider three double bonds and three single bond so benzene would have the three charge bond and three longer bonds three charge bonds uh, will have 1.34 angstrom and three longer uh, three longer bond will have 1.54 angstrom bond length there but the diffraction study showed that the six carbon carbon bonds are equal and bonds are having the 1.39 angstrom bond length and CH bond length is 1.10 angstrom so this is the general representation so here the carbon carbon bond is having 1.39 angstrom and this CH bond is having 1.10 angstrom this bond angle is 120 degree so benzene is having the, since this uh, all carbon carbon bonds are equal so its bond order is 1.5 so let us see the representation of the benzene ring i mentioned it before kekul had reported the uh, kekul had reported this structure for the benzene where two resonating forms are there okay and uh, which is having the six carbon and six hydrogen atom which forms a ring and these double bonds are in conjugation okay 
so it is the conjugated system and represented by a hexagon the circle inside the hexagon represent the delocalization of six pi electrons is this structure is the nothing but the hybrid structure of this k cool forms okay these two forms so let us move to ipac nomenclature for the some common benzene derivatives so let us uh, start uh, let us learn to uh, common names for the various benzene uh, derivatives names for the benzene several names for the benzene derivatives starts with the prefix of the substituents okay for example if you uh, if you put uh, substituents chlorine to the uh, benzene so it would be the chlorobenzene if you uh, put bromo substituents so it would be bromobenzene it is okay so chlorobenzene bromobenzene iodobenzene nitrobenzene so as uh, there are many derivatives uh, some substituents like methyl benzene is called toluene okay so here so we cannot give these uh, prefix for the substituents here we can uh, call them uh, such as methyl benzene is uh, known as toluene so this amino substituent is there so we can call it aniline this is the amino benzene so we can call it aniline this is methoxy methoxy substituent is here so we can call it anisole this is phenol this is benzoic acid and benzene sulfonic acid okay so here uh, when two similar groups are attached to benzene ring that is di, di substituted benzene then we need to mention their names and their relative positions okay there are, if there are if there are two substituents for example here two bromide uh, two bromines uh, there two bromine substituents are there so we call it dibromobenzene so our we can uh, this is the relative position so this is the ortho position so we call it ortho dibromobenzene so or we can call it 1 to dibromobenzene similarly here uh, this other substituent is at three position we can call it meta dibromobenzene or 1 3 dibromobenzene here four position so para dibromobenzene 1 4 dibromobenzene so when two uh, different groups are attached to the ring for example this nitrotoline so we can consider this nitro uh, relative position so nitro is is at second position so we call it ortho nitrotoline or two nitrotoline here meta nitrotoline or three nitrotoline here para nitrotoline or four nitrotoline so when more than two groups are attached to the ring for example this tnt trinitrotoline so here we will keep this toluene as a means main uh, name and this relative position of these nitro groups 246 246 tri nitrotoline here 3 ethyl 2 methyl aniline here aniline is the main name here 1 chloro 2 for dinatro benzene so this is all about the today's lecture in the next lecture we will see the preparation of a uh, benzene by using the common uh, chemical methods thank you